Thank you. Coach, you want to start with an opening statement? Yeah, um, I thought Butler played a great match, especially at different times during the match. I thought they you know, were defensively tenacious and then uh, really came at us offensively at different times. I thought we were the tail of, what's the cliche? Uh, I thought at points we were good, um, and then at points um, we just were not clean. Um, and, you know, I think it was all contacts, you know, from first contacts to second contacts to third contacts. Um, I did like that we responded in game four, and I liked game two. Um, but again, you know, we got we to gotta do it the entire match. Definitely high as a really good one. Yes. Um, Jayla, uh, you know, I think her name is Melody Davidson, right? Uh, came in, she was I mean, first in blocks, fourth in hitting, sixth in kills, but I think she only had five and four sets tonight and didn't block you guys very much. How did you neutralize just her overall impact, you think? I think we just talked about her a lot throughout the week. She's a really good player, so I think all of us just being aware of her or where she is on the court was really important for us. Excuse me, what do you want here? I mean, I was focused on sort of the third contact piece of this excuse, and it's your all, but just what do you want your your hitters to take away from it? Because obviously you said there were good moments, but you know, Butler was able to keep some rallies alive. Yeah, I think uh, I thought we got the libero way too involved. So attacking other areas of the court, um, I thought we made some uncharacteristic, unforced errors. Maybe the set wasn't perfect, but then we, you know, we hit it out of bounds or, or things like that. Um, you know, I think Butler's a very good blocking team, so we knew that they were going to be a good blocking team, and they got they blocked us several times, probably more than than we would have liked. Um, but, you know, like Annika had two good swings on the slide that she got blocked back to back. Um, but I'll take those a little bit. I mean, of course, we wish that she cut a little bit more, but I thought they were good aggressive swings. So, you know, I don't want them to be passive. I want them to go after it. But you have to play some of these teams different. You know, when they went into the 5-1, we were able to exploit that setter a couple points, and then Sharon had to make that switch back to the 6-2 because, you know, that smaller block we can attack. So. Um, they're big all over the place, and uh, you know, but we've played big teams many, many times. So we just got to, and you know, we'll play some very tall teams down the road. So we have to be able to to, to make things happen even against big blocks. You guys got that good start to game four um, when they rallied that seven-one run right before their first timeout seemed to kind of flip things in your direction for the rest of the way. And then you had a late run to finish it. What do you feel like? You did well in that moment of the match, that moment of the game four, to change the trajectory of where it was going. I think they got him out of system at that point, which is, helps a lot because, once again, can't get Davidson involved in their middles involved and they're really good. So I think that helps us, and then we're able to get better block blocks and block touches, and then uh, we can run our system better. So I think it started with our serving, and then um, our passing was better, I thought, in the fourth set, so we were able to be in system more. Um, a little short-handed today in the middle, 